my introduction to you was when a bunch of people sent me the shipping containers. Shipping containers are scam uh, video. And they're like, she's calling your container house a scam. And I'm like, all right. One, I appreciate people looking out for me, but let's watch the video. I watched the video and, you know, you did have a lot of like uh, excerpts from our video series on the Modern Home Project where we built the shipping container house from scratch. But I was like, I agree with everything that she's saying. Just because I'm involved in making shipping containers houses doesn't mean I don't, that I have to like white knight champion the entire industry uh, because there are a lot of shipping container scams and you did a great job of kind of separating out good information from some very fraudulent uh, people that are trying to sell, you know, or make misleading promises about how affordably they can build shipping container houses. That's very kind. Thank you, Ben. And I think that's what's great about your series. It's not like what you see on other social media platforms. It's not like a before and after. They show this rusty shipping container and then a a shiny product when it's saying this was done in a week and it's just the ideal um the ideal conversion you can think of it's the perfect home for you you showed the reality of it you didn't say that this was the like the silver bullet to housing problems you didn't say it was the worst thing ever you just you mapped out everything very realistically and you said come to your own conclusion after you yes. watched the series and that was it, it's most things are just a thing they're not a solution. They're not a quick and easy miracle cure. They're just a thing. And we see this all the time in the construction industry. You know, uh, when I first got started with my architecture firm, there was a lot of companies pitching SIPs or structural insulated panels. And they're like, you can build faster, less thermal conductivity. All those things are true. You can use SIPs to build faster and they do have less thermal uh, conduction between the inside layer and the outside layer, and they are a structurally sound system. They are a fine thing, but the other way is also fine, and they never really took on relative to their, you know, quote unquote, promise to revolutionize the construction industry, uh, simply because there was supply chain issues, there wasn't enough uh, scaled manufacturing of them, there was concerns about long-term durability. Some of those were founded, some of those were unfounded, but more importantly, there wasn't a clear incentive why a decision maker on the developer side or on the builder side should switch. Switching takes a lot of time and energy to research and contractors that were good enough and thoughtful enough to, to build a good business already built a business that works and they need a really good, strong value proposition to switch something over and change their whole crews. Then along came like ICS, which I see you have uh, sitting on your desk. Yeah. Yeah, same thing, revolutionizing building in the street. All you need is these styrofoam blocks. House goes together like Legos in one day. Well, no, still got to do the rebar and set all the things. And we're going to revolutionize the construction industry. Eh, not so much. And then straw bale construction and hempcrete and now 3D printing, 3D printing. And, <laughs> and modular uh, steel shipping containers. So. All of these things are good. It's none of them are, you know, completely fraudulent, but it's really challenging to adopt any technology. And there is no real silver bullet. Uh, there are just things that have different advantages in different situations. And that's how I sort of approached the shipping container house was you can do this, whether it's good or bad really depends on your specific situation. I think a shipping container house is great if you're completely DIYing it. Because if you're doing conventional framing, which I think is more cost-effective and has more flexibility, a one-person crew sometimes struggles setting and leveling a really heavy or large like roof framing beam. Whereas with a container, you, starting with the outside shell, you have reference points to build inside. So for a one-person gig, kind of great, but it loses some of those special efficiencies of that specific labor context uh, when you try to scale it or apply it to a typical construction crew.